basically what it is is we're able, instead of having an open procedure, which means opening the sternum, stopping the heart, and putting a new valve in, um, we're able to uh, go up through a, a little uh, incision in the groin, in the, in the femoral artery, and we put a sheath up and able to deliver a new valve uh, into the diseased um, area of the heart um, without any So this surgery. allows for the opportunity replace or to give them a new valve and you know improve their quality of life um, and reduce the risk of sudden death and risk of heart failure from progression of the earth extension. With the transcatheter procedure, uh, the procedure itself actually takes about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, patients are able to be up and about if not later that day then next day and out of the hospital usually uh, two or three days after the procedure. In terms of quality of life immediately after the procedure, it's certainly much better with the transcat. The results are immediate. The, the, um, the hemodynamics, the flow out of the ventricle are immediate improvement in, in the, the pressure throughout the body um, after this valve goes in. And so it's, it's, it's curative of, of an otherwise uniformly fatal disease, which is aortic stenosis. You want to know that everybody's focused on you. And that's one of the great advantages of, of, of uh, working here at Concord Hospital and working in the setting where we have one group of cardiologists who work as a team, covering one hospital, taking care of the same patient. Do the case at you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I swing by the hospital at midnight to check on her, and she's like, I you know, the, the, the pain I've had for the last 10 years is gone. It's gone. You know, so it's, it's it, the, 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 the impact is, is, all, is instantaneous. And patients feel better right away. So that's very gratifying.